Previously on Da Vinci's Inquest. She was knocked out with a commercial barbiturate, a drug called carabinol. This sounds an awful lot like an open case we've had from about a year ago. I'm from Bellingham, and we may have something very similar from about eight months ago. My name is Dominic Da Vinci. I'm from Vancouver, Canada, the coroner's office. Third possible victim, last seen in Olympia, Washington, found in Bellingham. Yeah, he's using the I-5. And I see no reason why it stopped at the border. a lot of bullshit, just total bullshit. We have all this science. We have all these shiny toys, but we don't use them, Jimmy. And I. I know, it's Come all on. about available money. Available yeah, money, we have. Dean Resnick is a suspected serial rapist, okay? They took his blood sample. 1,500 bucks for a DNA They took profile. his blood sample. What do they do? They put it on a shelf for four years. They're sat for four years. They don't even run it against the rape victims. Now what? Today we find out it's the DNA from this guy matches the DNA of murder victims from San Francisco, from Portland, from Bellingham and right in Delta. For God's sakes, how does something like this happen? Oh, come on, Dom, you know how it happens, and you know where, in boardrooms. Gray men and women shaving dollars to balance budgets. We created this guy. Realize that? We allowed this guy to happen. Her, yeah, I definitely remember her. She was loaded, her friend had to help her out of the place. She had a friend with her? She wasn't alone? No, definitely not. I, I remember it because I wanted to buy her friend a drink, but she brushed me back. Her friend was a woman? Yeah? Where's that file on those American cases? Uh, the gray one, right there. So when you say she was loaded, are we talking uh, obnoxious or loud? Disoriented, sloppy? Yeah, yeah, line? disoriented and, and uh, looking kind of green. But I hit on her friend when, when she went to the can. Wait a minute. How do you know they were friends? Couldn't they have just met just then and there? Could have been. You know, all the women were last seen drinking in a bar with a woman. When Sandy showed up in the bar, did she come in alone? Alone. How long till her friend came in? Uh, I saw her friend come in looking for her earlier, and then she came back. Was Sandy still acting drunk when she came in? No, she seemed kind of together. Did you notice if she ever left her drink unattended? Yeah, when she went to the bathroom the time I said before. Yeah, you did say that before. That's right. Listen, if I brought up a sketch artist, do you think you could put together a picture of Sandy's friend for us? Yeah, no problem. You know, they've got surveillance tapes in these hotel garages. I mean, did you check those? Yeah, they erase them every 36 hours. Ain't that a bitch? Hey, Dominic. What? Listen to this. What happened? Sandy Whalen was last seen in a bar with a woman. So was the woman in Delta and all the cases in the States. That's right. All these women we've been thinking were witnesses. What if they were the same woman? She's not a witness. 
the male DNA found on Sandy's body. Male DNA on the body? You guys, you know? guys think it's a couple. It's a couple. And the guy's Dean Resnick. And his Irish bride. Up the motorhome, inside and out, full detail. We took a beating. I hate to sacrifice it like that. Doesn't matter. We got a lot of good use out of it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess we did, didn't we? Have a nice honeymoon. Hi, this is Detective Cosmo. Hi, this is Detective Cosmo. Homicide. Um, this is Detective for, Shannon. Uh, with Detective Leary from the Vancouver Resnick's Homicide. Resnick's her married name. Dean Resnick, he used to work for you. We spoke about this I'm earlier. You don't remember? Okay, cousin, look, I'm just curious to know whether or not you have any information. Hi, this is Detective Cosmo Homicide. He bought a motorhome. When? I'm wondering if you have any record of her employment or, or any boarding address. Hi, this is Detective Cosmo Homicide. Do you know? Hey, Chick, how you doing? I've been holding. Yes. I'm looking for his cousin. R-E-S. Listen, I'm wondering if you could tell me who I could talk to about that mud sample. Thanks. I've already talked to the reception. No, the guy I want to talk to is a forensic geologist. Hi, this is Detective Great, Cosmo. yeah, where can I find him? No. His cousin, Resnick. Roger Listen, now, I need to Resnick. talk to somebody about the mud sample. R-E-S-N-I-C-K. Okay, thanks. Uh, uh, no, no. Thank you for I'm in a loop. A mud Hi, doctor, that's right. Cosmo, yeah, homicide. thank you. His cousin, Roger. Professor Harbour. R E S N I C K. Uh, it's Detective Leary from the Vancouver Homicide. I'm, I'm curious to know if you have uh, the results from the mud sample we sent over to you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, the Fraser River is a long river. Mr. Resnick. She was fired. What else did she steal? I'm Detective Shannon. Besides? Vancouver Homicide. A glass eye. Mr. Resnick, I'm so glad to talk to you. Strawberries. Perfect. What can you tell me about his whereabouts? Scott Resnick's got it. Right. You still got those postcards? Anything oh. else? How were they traveling? Do you know? All right. Thank you. A caravan. Okay, thank you. Hey, they bought a motorhome right here, too. If you think of anything else, please call me. Resnick's cousin hadn't seen him for four years since the wedding, but they did send him postcards on their honeymoon. Dublin, Scotland, London, Rome. They were over there for six months. Six months? Somebody should call Scotland Yard. Christ, these two make me wish we still had Mr. Ellis working for us. Who's Ellis? That's the hangman. That's uh, the name they give the guy in the job. Death penalty's not a deterrent. Well, maybe not. But if you fry the guy, he ain't gonna do it again. Well, why not let the survivors and the victims do it? We'll just give them all the handle and say, okay, uh, you want revenge? Go ahead. How many think you're gonna do it? Well, I hate to break your heart and answer that, but an eye for an eye. Well, if the resident's going to cross the border, you're going to get a thrill of watching them get the needle anyway. Wouldn't that be a pretty sight? U.S. immigration's been alerted about the motorhome. If they still got a motorhome. Uh, trains, buses, airports. Well, I think they're holed up somewhere like a couple of river rats. The geologist who processed the mud sample he made a couple of phone calls, and he figures uh, we're looking for a strawberry field up in the Fraser River Delta. Yeah, right. Forensic reports go right there. Please. Okay, no, we, got, we got a lot of stuff on Dean Resnick, but we got nothing on Mona. Mona is a real enigma. She's got no records, no relatives. So she's a ghost. No, I, no, no she, uh, Angie, she found out that uh, she got caught stealing from two different hospitals. Stealing what? Yeah, one time for lifting carabinol, and another time for a glass eye. I, uh, I met her before I got drugged. I'm remembering it a little more clearly. She, um, approached me in a bar. I thought she was nice. What can you remember about him? I'm not going to talk about what he did to me, okay? 
It's okay. We don't need to talk about that. He's a... He's really normal looking. He wouldn't stand out anywhere. Is that him? Yeah. When you got away from the house, you remember how you got out? No. Remember seeing anything you might remember, like a landmark? I, um, I remember smelling strawberries. That's good. You know you were picked up in a strawberry field. Okay, um... Can we go back a little? Mm -hmm. uh, you met Mona in a bar in Cranbrook. Mm -hmm. And the Mounties found you near the Fraser River, just south of Vancouver. I don't know. I know. We know. All right. That's a pretty long trip. Is there anything about it? Not so much when you left, but right before they took you to the house. Anything you remember at all about it? I could hear the road. Anything distinct about the road? Sounds? It was pavement. That's good. That's very good. I heard a train. And we crossed a wooden bridge. All right, good. So now we have uh, a <clears throat> paved road. So train, wooden bridge. And then gravel. And then we stopped. Police report, Prince George, 11994. Dean Resnick is a suspect in a rape case in which carabinol is not used. Uh, a month later, his fiance Mona gets fired from her job for sealing barbiturates. Several weeks pass, 12-12-94, another rape, and uh, carabinol was used. Wow. Now, was uh, Resnick a suspect in that one? No. Not in the second one. Oh, yeah. Same uh, investigator, though, right? Um, no, the first investigator retired shortly after the case. Of course he did. Okay, so you're fine. Uh, in fact, ask, was it filled in or...? Not in the first one. Not in the second one, either. <clears throat> okay. Coroner's report, Kelowna. 7395. Seven, Death by misadventure. It's okay. Dean and Mona get married. Go on a honeymoon. Settle in Kelowna. Nice for Kelowna. Dean gets a job selling recreational vehicles. No record of Mona working, so why I guess she's at home eating bonbons. Uh, two months after they settle there, a young nurse overdoses on a barbiturate cocktail after a beach party. Young nurse? Wait a minute, who was the uh, who was the coroner in that case? You were the coroner on that case. I was the coroner. I, that's where I had to fly in there. I remember it now, because the guy had a heart attack. The uh, coroner up there. Yeah, there was evidence uh, that she had sex, but, uh, you know, because she'd been at the beach party. Can I help you? What can I do for you? What's happening? You all when right? I left here, yeah, last time I felt guilty. I offered a word regarding my daughter's disappearance, and, uh, well, I think that's very selfish of me. I'm a wealthy man. I can do better than that. I'd like to help you find who killed these girls. You know, it's generous, but uh, I'm not sure that money's the way to go here right now. It's... There are those of us who are beyond grief. We'd like to do something.
Hey. We can drive all the way to Costa Rica. They can't extradite us if we get caught there. Hey, it's not gonna happen. I don't think those tapes are gonna be a problem for us either. I mean, they're never gonna find them there. If they find the house, they're gonna go over it top to bottom. Okay, even if they find the tapes, which they won't, we're not identifiable. Yes, we are. We are. Come on. Come on. We want some of the tapes. Do you think I have time to go back? No. We're leaving right now. I want to get over the border. You got me worried now. Hmm. You drive over the line, and I'll meet you in Blaine this afternoon, that motel we use. I feel better if we travel together. Come on. It's always worked best for us that way at the border. I better go back. No. Yeah. We're going around in circles. We should go back to where the Mounties picked her up. No, uh, not again. This is the bridge. It's got to be the bridge. She's suffering trauma. Nothing is certain here. Well, we've got the bridge. She got that part right. You know, there was a bridge when we drove in. This has got to be it. Well, do me a favor. Let's look at the map again. All right. Drive me over the bridge again. OK. Stay in the car. Check it out. Where's that window that you crawled out of? Around the back. I think I'm gonna go take a look at it. You'll be all right? Yeah. Okay.
vehicle off! Turn it off! Throw the keys out the window. Do exactly what he says. There are some other things I can tell you. About other victims, Dean? <sighs> things you'd be uh, interested in. Okay. Yeah? So? I know what I'm doing. I think people would be interested in my story. Don't you? Yeah. Definitely. One of the interesting things is how... Uh, how I got dragged into all this. You know, my life story. How it all began. I'm interested. What can you tell me about Mona? Well, uh, how much do you think my story would be worth to a magazine? See, I don't know much about that sort of thing, but I think it would make people really want to buy the magazines. <laughs> I've had an interesting life. Mm -hmm. You want people to know who you are? About who I am. The things I've done. Everything. Maybe somebody out there, they could uh, learn from it. I've been told I'm really photogenic. Okay, well, apparently Mr. Resnick has information on killings from several jurisdictions, not just the USA and Canada, but also from uh, the British Isles and Europe at this point. And I think it's very important right now that we be careful to make our first deal our best deal. From what I see, he's open to it. He wants attention. Well, he knows he's going to get that, whether he makes a deal with us or not. What does he want that we can deal with? Money. Oh, no. No, there's no way I'm going to start paying that son of a bitch to tell us where bodies are. I want no part of that deal. Yeah, why even go down that road? You know, he's going to go down for what he did already. Well, if we can get him on more bodies, he'll die in jail. Look, the important thing here is we have an obligation to the victims' families. We need names and locations of victims. What's important here is Mona. He's got to give us Mona. Whatever deal is made, I want you to know I'll file for his extradition to face charges in California. I'll file away. We got him. We're going to keep him. Oh, when he finishes his time, you can come up and get him. Now, hang on a minute here. We need a deal that encompasses all the jurisdictions, no matter where the victim's families live. Now, if it takes money, sir, to bait that hook, so be it. If you bite on that hook, he'll play you for years. Every time he wants a little attention or some money, he'll tease you with another body. I want it on record I'm opposed to this. It offends me deeply. don't approve? No. I think it's blood money. What, it offends your sensibilities, your Yankee sense of fair play or something? Yes. You know, the hand I'm dealt, I, I play for the dead. You know what they're telling me? Don't fold. Doc, you're playing with the devil. He's got more cards up his sleeve. Yeah, but he came to the game, and so did you. We're sitting in the game. You're sitting there waiting for me to win the pot so we can divvy it up. You want to know where the bodies are, correct? Yes. Okay. And when you're done with him, we'll extradite him to California to face charges. And face a death penalty, which will guarantee that he won't give you any more names where the victims may be in the States. And that will guarantee that U.S. citizens will never learn where their missing children are. So, yeah. No, I will not. I won't turn Mona in. If they get to her... Guaranteed she'll make a deal and put the whole thing off on you. She'd never do that. You don't know her. Do you? I'm trying to give you the best defense I can. Then why don't you do what I want? All right. What do you want? You tell them there's not going to be any deal unless they guarantee that I will not be extradited to the United States of America. Why are you brokering this? Well, you know, this is the kind of deal that has a stink to it. It will stick to whoever uh, makes it. 
Nobody wants to be associated with money for bodies, of course, and I guess I have to be the practical man in this matter. How much money are we talking about? I guess that depends on how many bodies. What about extradition? <sighs> well, here's the thing, see. Now, if the evidence isn't strong enough to convict him in Canada for murder, the Solicitor General will look at that evidence south of the border, and he'll decide, you know... Look, either way, your guy is not getting out of jail, so... If he gets convicted in Canada, at least this idiot lives. Fine. I'll discuss it with my client. Can I have homicide? Come here, Leary. Leary. Hey, Mick, Dominic. Your brother, uh... Where are they holding him? City holding cells. Waiting for Montreal to come and pick him up on a warrant. Yeah? I bet he'd like to get out from under this, uh... Oh, it's crap he's under, eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna hear about me. See, when I get out of here, people are gonna bleed. So when you're watching your TV, you see some guy with his tongue tore out of his head. That was me. I did that. What are you in for? Some bullshit murder beef. <laughs> see if they can't hold me. I'm getting out. I got a beat. Resnick. Lawyer's here to see you. My client wants $10,000 for information regarding each case. For each body, you mean? I'll have the money held in trust. Yeah. Okay, look, whatever arrangement's made is made between you two, okay? And I'd advise you to make it contingent upon the information given being proven legitimate. I'll present the proposal to my client and get back to you. Sir. You realize that uh, your daughter may not be amongst the victims. I'm a fortunate man. I have money. Not all fathers do. I have an obligation. Thank you for having the courage to be reviled. Okay. Move. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Today is my lucky day. I got a lawyer. He said they went for the deal. Oh, yeah, what's the deal? They're paying me for information. When are you getting out of here? Today, tomorrow. Get a message out for me? I don't got time for any bullshit. I can pay you. I got my own money, thank you. You tell somebody something, get the message out. They'll give you a thousand dollars. Once you tell them yourself, you got a phone call. Because they're listening to me. Oh, yeah. You're bad, right? That's You're bad. Right. I forgot. You're bad. That's right. Wait until you read about me. What's the story? I want you to tell my wife something. That's all. She's the one that's going to pay me? Yeah. That's all. I'm gonna give you some free advice. Yeah, what's that? You're gonna be in here a long time. Don't trust anybody. You're telling me information. You don't even know me. I could hold that over your head. Right. You could. I hear what you're saying. 
But you're still going to do it, right? You set me up on some bullshit you're going to dance out of. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Go sit over there and shut up. What do you want? I want Mona, and I want her in the States. And in return? And in return, I won't pursue extradition for Dean. He can serve his time here, avoid the death penalty, and collect his money. No. I won't turn in Mona. Dean, you may fight extradition, but you will not win unless you make this deal. If I give you Mona, she'll just put it all off on me. The evidence doesn't support that. Thus far, there are two bodies in Canada. One is a U.S. citizen who was raped and murdered and your DNA was recovered. The other victim is Canadian. She choked to death. The DNA on her body will prove to belong to Mona. So, if there are no more bodies in Canada, a murder case against you becomes defensible. Dean, Mona killed these girls. If I go up to rape in Canada and give you Mona, you won't extradite me to the States when I'm finished my sentence. Right? That is something we could probably put together, provided Mona is caught in the States. be there. We got a deal? I don't know. Did Resnick tell you where Mona is? Yes, it did. All right, I talked to Montreal. They're not going to bring you back on the warrant. You're free to go as soon as you tell me where she is. She's in a motel in Blaine, Washington. Shit, we can't touch her there. What did Resnick want you to tell her? That he'd be coming into some money as a result of giving up information. She's supposed to contact his lawyer when she gets to Costa Rica. Pick up the blood money. Yeah. Guess I'm out of here. For now. Found Mona. What? A little too late. She's in the States. Oh, what? That's the way it goes, huh? See you, Mick. See Danny? That's uh, Special Agent Turner know about Mona being in the States? Maybe. I heard she made a deal with Resnick. Yeah, she'll keep Mona down there and we'll never find where those bodies are buried. Excuse me. Excuse me. They win again. Danny! What's up? Remember me? I'm in a crime scene at my nightclub. Now, the question is, do you remember me? Because since that night, I've been trying to place you, and I finally have. Montreal. I'm drawing a blank. Where's Montreal, Danny? I was in Arc. I was in Montreal like 10 years ago. That's where I know you're from. So you busted me or something? Guess what? I forgive you. Don't play that with me. I didn't bust you, Danny. But I could bust you open, wide open right now. Come here, I want to talk to you. So I understand you're ready to tell me where Mona is. Yeah. But before I do, I was thinking, this is a high-profile case for you. Yes, I suppose it is. And you're a big part of that. Yeah, well, that's what I was wondering. Do you think this is something that, say, a network would like to cover, or maybe even a movie? 
I think we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Oh, really? Well, then tell me, um, why do you think the media can exploit me without my having a say? You don't think Mona doesn't want attention? Oh, I'm sure she does. That's all she's about. Mona. Mona, Mona. Mona. If somebody else gets to Mona first, they're going to misinterpret everything she tells them. They'll paint you as the dominant in the relationship. All right. I'd like something to eat. She's in Blaine, Washington, waiting for me. Okay, thank you. Mona? You the guy I called? Let's take a walk. Dean told me about this guy, father of a missing girl, Kathy Morton. It's a $50,000 reward out for any information. Dean seems to think he'd probably be willing to double that if he was to find the body. Mm -hmm. Wow, I don't know what I can do. Well, Dean's trying to set you up with a little money here. I got it worked out. You take me to where the body is. I take that information to the dad, and we split the money. Well, that's really interesting, but I don't know what I can do about that. Dean's a little worried about you. I'm worried about him. I think his worry is that you're going to turn him in. So he'd like to put enough money together for you so you can disappear. Well, that's so thoughtful of him, but I don't know anything about where that young woman is. Okay. Let me put this to you another way. I need that 50 grand. So either you take me to where the body is or I'm going to take your ass to the state police and turn it in. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. She's just on the other side of hope. Now you're not going to draw me a map. We're going there. You're crazy. <laughs> Let me get my bag and freshen up. Hey. You want a cold beer? I got some in the fridge. Sure. What is she doing here? You gotta tell her. You gotta tell her. Are you mad? Forget it. Hey, somebody wanna film me? Stay over there. You shouldn't have brought her, Nick. You owe it to her. She's right. What the hell is this? Nick tried to slip me a Mickey fist. You, oh. you came voluntarily. What the hell is going on here? Stay there. Just stay there. I want out of here now. The deep end, man. What are you doing? You can't do this, you know. He kidnapped me. Shut up. Sit down. I don't need your help, Mick. I don't need your help. I want out of here. I want out of here. Sit down. You need more help than just me, man. I want a player! I have the right to a player! Sit down! Sit down! Sit down! No! No! I can't breathe in here! You can't breathe? No! You want to breathe? Yeah! All right, okay. How about if I give you some air holes? Some air holes? Some air holes? Put it away, man! Put it away! I swear to God, man. Would you calm down? right now. All right. All right. Come here. Toss me the keys. Look, I've said everything that I have to say to you, all right? Listen to me. We 
I'm under combat. Two years. Bastard. Come with me, Leo. Three days of trout fishing would do you good. I can't leave Lana alone that long. Oh, yeah. Well, how's she doing, anyway? She has her good days. Most days, she just walks around like a ghost. We used to go fishing. She used to love trout fishing. Yeah? Well, let's bring her along. You know, I'll call a guy and get a bigger cabin. I don't know. I mean, maybe you're right. I know she'd like it, but no. You know, only if you don't think it would be a burden on you. Are you kidding? It'd be good. Yeah? Okay, I'll bring the beer. All right. What you did took courage. It's appreciated. Just make sure you call that number that we gave you. You're going to need help getting through this. Thank you. All right? Jimmy, I told you already, I hate golf. I mean, I really, I hate it. It's a good way to relax. Relax? You know what it does for me? It makes me frustrated, angry, bored, and depressed, and all at the same time. And the other thing about the game is, it's not a game. <laughs> but we'll put a wager on it. Oh, that makes sense. Glad I caught you. I'll see you later. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. How's it going? You screwed me. You screwed me. It's mutual. Oh. So much for jurisdictional cooperation. Mm. Oh. Yeah, well, we should. You know, it's not. It's not a perfect world. No. Not yet. I didn't like her anyway. Okay, I feel a lot better. Good night. Good night. Sleep tight. Go home, D. Yeah, I got my coat on. I'll go in a minute. Good night.